So in the previous video, I've introduced the concept of a plane, this uh, surface, this three-dimensional surface, flat surface, uh, which goes on forever and ever and ever in all directions, okay? And we quite often refer to these planes with the Greek letter pi, okay? So we use that to label a plane rather than L for line, okay? So L is usually a line. Pi is used for plane. So these two equations would represent two separate planes in three-dimensional space. Okay, so what I really want you to start thinking about is how do these two planes interact? What are the possibilities here? Okay, so if we just have two planes like this, then one possibility... Okay, so one possibility is that your two planes are actually precisely the same plane. Okay, so it's a trivial situation, um, but they could be the same thing. Okay, so same plane. And the consequence is that if that's the case, then there are infinitely many solutions. Okay, then if you were to have two distinct planes, okay, so now we know that they are, they are different from one another, they could still be a situation where it looks like this, okay, where they are actually still, they are parallel planes, but these don't intersect, okay, so for example, you know, two perfectly flat planes, okay, that never intersect one another, okay? So that could be a possible situation. So uh, they are parallel planes, so parallel, and then you've got no solutions, okay, because they never cross one another. Alternatively, they could intersect one another. Now, if they do intersect one another, just kind of trying to remember how to actually draw this. So, uh, that wasn't very good, was it? Let's uh, get a little bit better. Have it like that. This seems to be kind of like, oh, why is he taking so long drawing this damn plane? Well, I'm asking myself the same question. All right, there you are. Okay, so we eventually got there. It's difficult drawing in 3D. It's difficult. Um, so you've got these two planes uh, that actually are intersecting along a line. Okay, so if you think about two planes, not they're not parallel to one another. Okay, then. When they intersect, they can intersect along a line. You know, it doesn't matter how which way around I kind of rotate these. Okay, if they intersect, there will always be a line of intersection. Okay, so uh, they intersect and have a line in common. The consequence is that there are infinitely many solutions along the line. Okay? So, if they are two distinct planes, uh, they are either parallel to one another, in which there are no solutions, or uh, they have an infinite number of solutions along a line. Okay? Now, of course, in this situation, it's really just about trying to visualise those situations with two planes, that would mean you just have two equations to deal with to solve. You've got two equations with three unknowns. And so there's always going to be that one that you can't knock out. Okay? And that's going to be the problem. That's why you're always going to have one of these two situations. You're, never, you're not going to have a distinct uh, set of solutions. Okay? There's not going to be just one coordinate of intersection. 
Now, when we ramp this up to three planes, which we're going to do in the next video, um, we're going to see quite a number of more situations to deal with. Okay, so let's see what happens with three planes.